Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to review the source code for the bot and solve some missing dependencies. Once that's done, we're going to execute the bot and test it. Alright, I divided all the source code in four files here just to review them and show them to you. Notice here that I have some comments here so that in case that you are curious and want to know more about it, you can read it and it hopefully will make sense to you. Okay, in the first file, we are loading all the modules that we installed, the configuration that we created to be able to create a Discord client, user commands, create audio, create audio resources, search inside of our folders, uh, create the full path to where we are going to search, be able to join a voice channel, be able to create an audio player like this. Here I have an index when you have more than one file inside of a folder. Here I'm storing the root folder, creating a list, creating a local resource, and loading the commands for the bot. Lastly, I define this variable with these properties, title and URL, where URL is the path to the file. Simple. The next file contains the behavior of the bot. I want the bot to show a message when he's online. Here, when a member of my server sends a message, I want to retrieve that channel from where he sent the message and initialize the connection to be able to connect and play songs with the bot. Here, ignore messages from the bot and tell the bot to ignore messages that are not commands. Down here, I have the commands play, skip, and stop. Thus, for the bot to understand what to do when each command appears in a message. And here, when a non command is sent, simply show the list of available commands. In the next file, I have the execute function. This function will handle the parameters of the message and the connection. For the bot to be able to search for files, he will be using the parameters inside of the message, create the full path to the audio files, show it in the console. And here, when he starts searching, he will filter only files and filter all the files inside of this specified path. After that, add, the, add them to the list. And here I'm just checking if who sent that message is inside of a voice channel. If not, tell him to go to a voice channel or tell her to go to a voice channel. Here check the permissions of connect and speak for the bot. If not, you will have to go back to the Discord developer portal and reassign those permissions. Before you do that, kick the bot from your server. And after you have completed, again, this step of giving the bot permissions, you will be able to re-invite him. If you have doubts, you can go back to the previous video and check how that's done. Here, we separate each audio file as a single element in the list and tell the player or the bot to start playing using that playlist from the beginning. Here is the play function. The play function, of course, you can infer it, plays the audio files found. Here we get the name of the audio file, the location or the full path to the audio file. We display some messages to tell what we are going to play. Here we create a local resource, play it. And once the player is playing, wait 
when he finishes playing to tell him to play another audio file and he will do the same until it finishes playing all the audio files once finished release the connection and restart our list and starting element in case an error occurs display a message in the console and see the content of the error lastly tell the bot to log in using the token that we got from the discord developer portal and at the end we will have a single file with the content of the previous files as you can see i have the content of the previous files here inside of my bot.js file all right that concludes the source code now i want you to resolve some dependencies because if you don't have these dependencies the bot won't work and he will tell you with error messages in the console that some elements are missing so go back in my case to the discord bot folder that's where the node modules folder is and do the following tell npm to install <coughs> sorry the discord.js and use the latest version hit enter going to pause it here once finished you want to install the ffmpeg static copy hit enter going to pause until it finishes now once finished you want to check for your packet.json file and see the content here you will have all the previous dependencies that we installed plus the discord.js and the ffmpeg static all right check that all the dependencies are there if one is missing you can go back to the previous video or simply complete the missing dependencies that we just mentioned now remember that you have a config.json file and you have some lines that go like this simply select them and remove them do not remove what's before this just remove the text like this select it and remove it and leave the content of the config.json like that so that at the end you don't have any of those right i cannot show you directly the content because i have my bot token there but i am confident that you understood that you only have to remove the text that looks like that all right nice once that is done you can go to your discord here i am go to your voice channel and open your command line going to clean this remember i'm inside of my discord bot folder where the node modules is and you are going to execute the following command node this trace uh, warnings parameter i think is deprecated but don't worry you can just uh, remove it indicate where the source code for the body is in this case is inside of source files folder and inside of in my case my bot.js file remember that the source code is inside of a file with .js extension execute it and hopefully you will see the bot coming uh, online in your server let's wait here it is online and it uh, it has to display this message it may be different if you change uh, the message now i am going to tell him to play 
for um, some files. But first, let's just use the token. Remember, this is the prefix that, sorry, this is the prefix for the bot. In this case, he will try to uh, check if this is defined in his behavior. In this case, this is not a predefined behavior, so he is displaying the commands. Here, I am going to tell him to play. In my computer, I have a folder named barn folder and a child folder named child folder. I'm going to show you real quick. They are inside of this folder. Here I have barn folder. I'm going inside of barn folder. Check child folder. And child folder has some uh, audio files. These audio files are from one of my YouTube videos. I just got them from there. They are really short, but they will serve us to test. So I have barn folder, barn folder, and child folder, child folder. Let's see what happens. Let's execute this command. Well, here uh, it seems like. Charger! <laughs> That's a command from other bot. Well, what happened here when I sent the bot play command was like some sort of latency or sleep mode that maybe happened because of my in internet connection or um, the specs of my computer. I am not entirely sure. But here, notice that I executed the stop command. Now I'm just going to wait until uh, my computer releases the resources when the bot was uh, playing. All right, and I'm going to execute this again so that hopefully the bot will start playing at once. Okay, I'm going to reattempt. As you can see, it's not playing. see when I executed the bot play command again he started searching using this uh, path he found some files so he started playing and this time he did it almost immediately then I told him to go to the next file here it is he started playing and when he was playing that file I told him to stop. Here's the thing with the stop command. In my case, it may be because of my internet connection or my computer specifications. I'm not entirely sure yet. But in my case, it is recommended to wait 10 to 30 seconds before I tell the bot to start playing again to perform this search again and look 
four audio files. It may be different in your system. You may have a better computer than mine, a better internet connection than mine, and this will be like unnoticeable to you. Hopefully. <laughs> and well, as you can see, the bot works. He's there waiting for input. You can hear it. In case that you cannot hear the bot playing, go to your settings, go to your voice and video, and make sure that, well, your input device is the microphone that you are using, and the output device are the headphones that you are using. You can check your microphone, and well, here you can adjust for whatever you like. Well, that's it for this tutorial. This was the Discord bot that plays audio files from your computer. I hope you liked this tutorial. And well, please leave a comment, leave a like, share it. Maybe we can improve this bot, I don't know. But this was a good thing. Well, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.